What is going on, everybody? Welcome. Welcome to the live event. As the title suggests, there is, in fact, <laughs> people joking around in chat before we got started there, there is definitely a giveaway tonight. The final eight of the current batch is available. There will be two winners. Each winner gets to choose two prizes. And the most expensive prize is actually still amongst the mystery pouches, which are actually just slightly off camera here. Um, so you have a good, uh, actually there's a 50% chance that that prize will be drawn tonight. Um, so somebody might, uh, somebody might walk away with a $450 American pocket knife tonight. There we go. Man, that's, that camera was lined up great. Holy moly. You have to guess a little bit when you do the mobile camera live streams. Dang, I should scoot everything down though so that we have room for the, uh, the big fixed blade up there. Hold on. I know you guys have questions. I got some new stuff out here and I know, I know eyes are wandering to select a few things here. So give me a sec. You guys know I got to get this line. It's got to look good for me. If it doesn't look good for me, it doesn't look good for you. Yeah, that's good enough. All right. <clears throat> I, uh, wow, I very nearly bought a uh, Omega Seamaster, like, just yesterday. <laughs> very, very nearly. <laughs> oh, boy! Why don't you review Jack Wolf Gunslinger or Berg Sweeney's? I don't know. I, they don't have them here yet. I think Berg Blades reached out to me to review something, and I thought it was... Some new knife was gone. I should ask him about the that <clears throat> and see. You love my channel? Thanks. I love you, Mark. Thanks for that comment, Mark Karasek. Love you, Mark. Love you, Mark. Thanks, Mark. Appreciate it. How do you enter? Right here. How to enter. Link in the description. Pull up the description. First link. I've got it highlighted. It says... Here, I'll open it for myself. Enter here. Live participation required. There's a link. You simply click on that link. No deception. It's just to keep all the comments in one place. Watch the video. It goes over the rules. It's very simple. Just leave a comment under it. Don't, don't say the F word in the comment section so YouTube doesn't filter you. People like to say corn dog. Corn dog will, in fact, not get you filtered by YouTube. Well, let's, turn, let's crank this music up. Is that an XL Rosie? Oh, yes, it is. One of my more recent, I made two gigantic USA purchases recently. Um, I'm going to make a big statement here. The XL Rosie, I think, w might be one of my favorite all-time pocket knives. It's just, guys, it's just perfect. It's just, ah, it's everything. It's everything I want. And I, I messaged him. I said, is this slightly contoured now? And he said, yes, it is. He contoured ever so slightly the newest Rosies, the XL ones. On top of that, I mean, the ergonomics are just, they're, it's dream mode. This is dream fuel right here. It's beautiful. On top of that, look at this grind. This is 63 to 64 hardened Magna Cut. 6364 Rockwell. This is a this is a machine. This is a cutting machine. Oh my god. It is so good. Eight and a half inches, I believe. That's what else I got out of here that's eight and a half inches. I don't know. I think it's about eight and a half inches. It's big. It's they, he wasn't joking. It's a big knife. It's 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 stunning. And the machine work is so good. Oh, it's so good. A lot of people think that the Rosie is like an ultra simple. I mean, when you get it in hand, you realize all the little teeny tiny details, right? Like the beveling on the inside and outside right here between like the sandwich pieces. The inside of the scales are beveled and the outside of the backspacer is beveled. So you get that light. It's so nice. Look at the freaking pocket clip, man. Oh, God. It's just too good. That's a lock bar insert screw, too, by the way. Wonderful. The action is perfect. It's. I'm so happy with this. It cost me 900 big ones, but 
I'm more than happy to pay for it. And it's a well put together knife. It's that is such a perfect. That's that's a me knife. Like I I love every line about that knife, and it fits my. Let, let me tell you what I love about this. Look at the freaking choil here. This is a roomy choil. Oh, 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 the lock in man. That index finger position. God, that is so good. It's so so good. Ah, that detent here. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> ah, it's so good. So good, man. I'm glad you like the live streams. 900 bones. Yep, 900 bones for that. I bought. I also bought a Cortex XL from uh, from Brown Knives. Like literally, these are right one after another. Bought this one, and then uh, I I asked uh, Brown about the Cortex XL, and I bought one of those immediately after. What's my favorite Medford? Uh, definitely the full size Marauder. Definitely. Yeah, the Neptune is worth waiting for. There's a bunch of them stuck in customs right now, and we got people, I, apparently there's people like, you know, like, is that, are they really stuck in customs? They're, they're really stuck in customs. Like, if you haven't got yours yet, they're actually, Max Ace has been a, a company for a long time. They're, they're, the knives are real, they actually ship them, you know. There's one right here. They're, they're stuck in customs if you haven't got it yet. Any news on your knife design? Uh, not not quite yet, but we're getting there. Um, we're getting the we're getting the we're getting the texturing figured out. It's textured. We're getting the texturing figured out because you have to. It's contoured and it's textured, so we're getting that worked out. That's that's tricky. You didn't know, been <laughs> been drinking. <laughs> He said, Mel, you're designing a knife. Yeah, this this project's going on nine months now, I think. Yep, we're getting it done. I've got two prototypes here that nobody's ever seen. I won't show it. But I got two prototypes in a 3D model here that I am, you know, they're functional. I've been carrying them, using them. They've been great. But it's it's a refinement process. we got to get details worked out. Dang, there's already 400 people in here. What's up, 400 people? Do you like the Rosy XL over the standard? I think the standard is perfect for carrying. I really want to check out the XL though. I like I like the standard, but the XL is it's it's not only bigger. I think it's a step up in like refinement. I think Oz Machine Company makes a great knife. The first one I handled, I was like, eh, it's all, it's all right. The second one I handled, which I reviewed, I was like, wow, this is spectacular. This, this guy's evolving, man. Like, this is so good. It's so good. The Rosy XL is so good. What do I think of the Mr. Mister? It's great. It reminds me of the TRM. It's, I mean, this is a great knife. If you can't get your hands on a TRM, pick up the Mr. Mister, uh, what is this? I can't remember what this is called. But it's great. Like, it's really, really cool. And it's enough different that you can't... I mean, you're still going to have some spaghetti wizards calling it a copy. They don't know, right? Their diet consists of dirt and jelly beans. So what do they know? It's, uh, it's enough different that it's its own thing for sure. Cypher. Yeah. You want to see the Marfion? Man, that thing's packed away. Here, hold on. I'll get it out. I almost... I also almost bought the mirrored... The Satin Mirror um, Brother, I think that one's on, I found that one on our site for 5800 and I was like, do I want that? Do I want another custom stitch? I told you guys I was going to be collecting stitches and I definitely am. I'm just waiting for the next one to jump out at me. Here's the, the DLC one. That's the most, that's the priciest object in my collection. That was more than the, the Tudor. 
definitely a cool cool knife it doesn't come out very often I'm pretty protective of that one very cool very happy to finally own uh, custom stitch sorry I gotta put you made me get a whole bunch of stuff out. I gotta move it around more than the dagger? Yeah, actually, Dion's price on that dagger was great. Uh, it, uh, I want to say those go for sixteen to eighteen hundred, depending on your spec. So the custom dagger was nowhere near, which is amazing because you also get a custom sheath with it. If you guys want a custom fixed blade? I'm telling you, you got to check out Dion Nell, the Knife Whisper, right here. Just type that into Instagram. You got to check this guy out. Because that, uh, that dagger is supreme. I didn't grab an Evo 4 because I don't, I'm not, this, it's not quite the right size. I want him to make another big one. I want him to make a huge one. I want him to make a, uh, like a nine and a quarter inch um, rotten Evo. If, if he does that, I'll definitely do it. Jimmy White gifted five memberships. Thank you very much, Jimmy. Congrats to the people who won. Yeah, the Citadel is still my favorite flashlight ever. Have you guys seen... Um, so Epic Snuggle Bunny, if you go to his Instagram, he has the most... He has the coolest flashlight I've ever seen. It's a Citadel. Mine's a basic one. And I want to say these are... What are the standard ones? 600 bucks, 800 bucks. They're worth it. It's a custom USA flashlight. But Epic Snuggle Bunny has a fully crystallized titanium one. He also has one in full Zerkatai. I want to say those are two to three thousand dollar flashlights. But the, the crystallized titanium one is the, that's the first time I've ever seen crystal tie and it's like rainbow crystal titanium. It's one of the coolest things I've ever seen. He's out in the sunlight. It's an old reel, but he brought it up in the group the other day and I was like, man, that is absolutely disgusting. Like in the best way possible. It's so cool. Phil, yeah, sure. If you can make a flashlight, if you can see and see a flashlight, like uh, like uh, Reaver Arms, yeah. But I think people find out real quick how hard that is to do. <laughs> you really have to be specific. Because the people who buy flashlights, they don't buy things that are close to spec. They buy things that are very, very laser precision. And that's why Reaver Arms can, you know, sell flashlights at that price. Because, they, they, I mean, it, it truly is. It's the nicest flashlight I've ever bought. It's, it's so unbelievably good. Who's the big baller? Who, we have another YouTuber in here. Who is it? Who's in here? I don't see no check marks. That's ridiculous, LMAO price for a flashlight. Bro, look at the table. <laughs> Come on, man. We're all in the same world. You know it. $800 for a flashlight? You know what kind of knife I could buy for that? <laughs> right? I mean, hey, it's like how we say, like, if, if, this bo if that bothers you, don't look up what Pokemon cards go for. Oh, boy. I think the rarest card, on, the rarest Pokemon card on Earth is still half a million dollars, isn't it? I know that, I saw on YouTube the original box of, of a, uh, a, an unopened booster box of Pokemon cards, base set first edition, goes for $200,000. Unreal. Have you checked out the new banter? <clears throat> Excuse me, Warren Cliff. I've been using one for the past week and it's a nice little piece. No, I'll have to reach out. You mean uh, Ben's design? I'll have to reach out to Ben. MC, what would your Grail Safe Queen version of a watch? Um, I don't know that much about watches. I guess. Right now, like, I'm still lusting after, like, 
the bottom tier of luxury watches. So I guess right now, like if I was to say like my my absolute grail right now, and like as soon as I get there, I'll have a new grail, right? Watch guys will tell me, oh, pfft, you're just starting out. The Rolex Submariner, the Rolex Submariner, but I'm I'm bummed that it's only a 40. Like I, I love the, the Pelagos because it's a 42 and it's kind of chunky. I'm also lusting after the Omega Seamaster 300 right now. Nick's trying to, uh, that's why I made that meme the other day. Nick's trying to get me into a, a planet ocean. And I looked that up and I was like, God dang it, Nick, stop doing this. You know, there's some cool Grand Seikos out there. I don't know. I'm just not ready to drop like seven to $10,000 on a watch. Thoughts on tag? I don't know anything about tag. I'm an I'm an I'm a newbie. I'm a filthy casual when it comes to watches. I can put the funds together, but but uh, it's you know it's like I'm a guy who can I can buy them, but I don't I don't like speak the language. I'm I'm still learning. You know, I learn a, I learn way more from you guys than what I know. Right? It's the same. A lot of the, it's a lot of the same thing with with knives. Like. I know a lot about certain knives, but there's other knives I don't know anything about, and I have to refer to the community. I do like my G-Shock. I wear my G-Shock, my steel G-Shock, more than any other watch. I love that thing. I love I can just put it on and go. Um, and I, I wear it a lot when I'm like running around, like when I'm, uh, I coach my daughter's soccer team, and I wear it while I'm out there, just because I don't have to worry about it bumping into stuff. That's like my active watch. But the, the other watch that I wear, I wear the Tudor a lot, and I also wear the Ice Diver, the Seiko Ice Diver, a lot. Well, how much is a Rolex Deep Sea? You see the Momo? The Momo is, this is, man, I think this is probably the most underrated knife on the table. This is crazy. I have been carrying this, and I love it. I love the Kaiser Momo. 110 bucks. Huge, huge folding kitchen knife. Aluminum, aluminum bolster, steel liner lock, 154 cm blade. God, this is so cool, man. Such a cool knife. I really, really enjoy this one. And you can actually use it for like camp food prep, I guess, on, on the fly food prep, because that the the back of the blade lays down lays down on the table. 15 grand on the gray market. I'm not, I'm not spending, I can't spend that kind of money. I'm not that kind of, talk to me again when I've got over a million subscribers and no, talk to me again when I've got 5 million subscribers. I, I, I can't, I can't drop that kind of money. <laughs> I still, I have, I, I still pay like regular bills and stuff. Like I have to do that. Yeah, no, I think it took a lot of, I got the, my Pelagos for 3,900 and that was a scary, that was a scary purchase. How about an all titanium watch to give away for 500K? You know what? Let me reach out to Tools for Gents because they have the Titan Diver that's in titanium. That's actually, if you guys want a titanium diver, if you didn't know this, Tools for Gents sells a beautiful Swiss-made titanium band diver for like 800 bucks. And let me talk with them and see it. I'm not going to make any promises, but I'll, I'll see if they want to include one for the giveaway. Tools for Gents has been really great for the channel and they provide a lot of stuff. Um, and there are lots of retailers reaching out and providing things for the 500,000 giveaway. So let me see what, uh, let me see what Tools for Gents says. That's not a bad idea at all. They might say no. I mean, it's, it's kind of a lot to ask for. Hey, you want to, would you like to give a, an $800 watch? Like, I'll just, I'll talk with them and see if it's something that they're interested in doing. But yeah, if you didn't know, you can get a, you can get a titanium diver from Tools for Gents. Um, it's, it's a great watch. I've, I've got it. It's an awesome watch. The Titan Diver? No, it's not. It's not 450. It's like it's like 800, isn't it? Hold on, let me look it up. Yeah, here I'll link it in chat. 
This is a great, here, I'll link it right here. That right, the link that I just posted is the Titan Diver if you guys want to look at it. Can my channel be the shout out tonight? Hold on, let me look at your channel. I mean, okay, yeah, sure. You Hey, NFK20, you got 140 subs, 41 videos, you're doing good. You got to do some long form stuff too, though. But yeah, here, I'll link you. Uh, let me, hold on, I'll pin it. Okay, you guys do me a favor and let's sub to NFK20. We could get him at least to 200 tonight, at least. He's the pinned comment in chat. There's enough videos there that he's clearly, I mean, you've got enough knives and stuff that you clearly are trying to do something. 41 videos. So, yeah, help him out a little bit. Yeah, you can absolutely order from Tools for Gems to the USA, 100%. Um, you'll very much enjoy that Titan Diver. I wore that, I, that was like the only watch I wore for probably a month straight. It's super light because of the titanium. Not easy to find a titanium banded diver at that price. Yeah, We Knives is definitely knocking out of the park right Man, they, they went through an evolutionary phase. They were char they were uh charming in for a long time. They definitely went full on Charizard. Should head over and give Rob Zerny Knives some love. And okay, yeah, Rob Zerny Knives is great. I see him all over the place. The best deal for 120 to uh, 180. I mean Kaiser does S45 VN. I mean they do 20 CV, they do 3V. You can get, I would say that at that price point, you're probably gonna be best off with Kaiser for the the steel. I think Spiderco is probably still doing the best heat treat near that price range, more towards a 180, but their prices have gone up. Kaiser's probably your best bet overall at that price point. What are the giveaway knives tonight? They're mysteries. They're all in mystery pouches. Nobody has any idea. S90V, if you can, that's, they're, they're correct. If you can get S90V around 60 HRC at that price point, yeah. And like Migron has some, and they do a decent job with S90V. Um, and what's another company that, that uh, oh yeah, well, if you go a little bit more, you could get Vanax from Kunwoo. Artisan Cutlery, there you go. Artisan Cutlery does S90V, very near that price point. That's that's price. S90V is de S90V is the steel. I'm M390 is fine, but S90V is a superior steel in my uh, in my opinion. Like if you're gonna, there's more companies out there able to properly heat treat S90V than there are companies who are doing M390 correctly, in my opinion. That's the opinion of a regular Joe who doesn't study metallurgy. I'm just a regular I'm just a regular knife critiquer on YouTube. Magnet fine, but you're not going to find it. You're definitely not going to find it properly heat treated at that price point. Magnet cuts an exceptional seal, but it's expensive. What's this guy at? Hold on. 171 guys. Guys, the pinned comment. That's the YouTuber trying to bump over 200 right now. You guys got him to 171. Can we just get that guy? I'm going to keep annoying you and bothering you about it until this guy's at, at 200 subscribers. 172. Pinned comment, folks. Pinned comment. Help this guy out. This is a new content creator. He's got some shorts, but again, I would all, you got to put some long form stuff in there too. We can help him get to 200. 188. 193. 198. There he is. 200. Nice. <laughs> Good work. 
I'm gonna try to spread that love out a little bit. Doing one per live stream is, I've realized is probably not the way to go. So I'm gonna be selfish and put that back on my Patreon for now. But you're over 200 now, at 215. And uh, maybe we'll look out for somebody else here in just a bit. Howard Brink Dokki, welcome to Knights Around. Knights, raise your swords for Howard. Enjoy the badges and Excalibur emojis. It's about time for another one. Good. Support the other creators. It's, I mean, it's like I always say, it's just more knife content. And there's so much room for us on YouTube. So much room. A while back, there was somebody that, you know, was speculating about how certain content creators are hogging all of the space on YouTube. And that is so wildly inaccurate. We occupy such a tiny space on YouTube. And only within the last, I would say, five years has the knife community cracked in to the bigger part of YouTube. You got to understand... Half the world's population, this is factually true, half the world's population logs into YouTube on a daily basis. I'm, that's three and a half billion people. The knife community is small. We're a few million at max. There is plenty of room. There are so many people who have no idea the knife community exists. The best thing you can do is continue to support smaller creators because you never knew who's, you never know who's going to be the next best thing. It's not going to be me. I'm on the way out. I'm over the hill in terms of like YouTube years. I'm old news. I'm still growing, but I'm, my channel is old news. I'm no longer the new guy. I got to enjoy being the new guy for a while, but I've been here for six years now. That's I'm ancient. The next big, crazy, ultra everything YouTuber is yet to be seen. It could be anybody. YouTube is the second largest search platform behind Google. Exactly. If you if you've ever thought about thought about starting a channel and you thought now nah, because look at who I have to compete with. I got to compete with Metal Complex and I got to compete with uh, M Melissa Backwoods and all these other giant creators. We're still we're we're small fish in in the YouTube world. You got you got an ocean. You have an ocean, a potential uh, ocean audience. You know, if you want to start a channel, start a channel. You never know. You could be ultra successful. And you could have a completely different audience than mine or anybody else's. There's so many people out there who could enjoy your content and the way that you, uh, the way that you provide information. There's lots of people who don't like my channel because of the way that I provide the information. You do it differently than me, and maybe it attracts a larger audience. You never know. The Knight says, "My subs decrease, uh, decrease have never decreased from a shout out." Metal Complex. That one time you mentioned my name, I doubled from 30 to 60. <laughs> the Knight's Edge. Hold on. Hold on. You got 443 subs. Okay, now he's got 137 videos. Here, let's pin him. Uh, here. Why can't I? Hold on, hold on. Stupid. Give me another comment. It's not letting me pin that one. Knight's Edge, give me that one again. Night says, just say anything. Say corn dog. Here we go. Uh, let's let's help him get to. Uh, he's at 443. Let's get him to 500. That's a milestone right there. 500 subs. He's halfway to a thousand. You guys know that YouTube won't let him monetize until he's at a thousand. Right? So he's making content for free. This is passion zone right here. He's just making content because he loves doing it. We could get him to 500 subs for that, right? I loved what I do, but I get paid for it, right? So it's a lot easier to make content when you're getting paid for it. But he's still, he's got a, he's got a long ways to go to get to a, a thousand. So you know, help him out there. 448. Come on now. Come on. I'll leave him up there until we get him to 500. You also need 3,000. Oh, you only need 3,000? They made me do 4,000. 
They need to do 4,000 hours of watch time. That's why I tell people don't just do short form content. Because you need like 10 million views of short short form to get monetized. That's crazy. But you need 4,000 hours of watch time to get monetized and 1,000 subs. You need both of those things before YouTube considers you for monetization. Or 3,000 now. Apparently they lowered the threshold. It's probably better for their advertisers. But yeah, that's a lot of work. 4,000 hours of watch time? That's a lot. MC, how come you don't have a Holt knife? I like Holt knives. I wish they'd stiffen up the lock bar tension. Um, I think Holt knives have all the quality that you could ever want. Personally, I wish their lock bar tension was a little bit tighter. And I've talked to them about it. They like to do things their own way. They're super polite people, very nice, you know? Um, so nothing against them. They got their own way of doing things. I just, you know, if their lock bar tension got a little tighter, I, I think I might, uh, I think I might go for one. I saw, I want a Morpheus. And then they, they haven't been doing those for a while. A Morpheus with tighter, with, with heavier lock bar tension, heavier detent, I would buy it in a heartbeat. Post the YouTube link so I can subscribe. It's right at the top of the chat. The top of the chat says the Knight's Edge. He's got a gold helmet. Just click on his uh, click on his name. Uh, click on his. Wait. I'm so stupid. <laughs> I'm so stupid. I'm sure you guys are like, what do you want us to do? All you did is pin his comment. I'm sorry. Good lord. So dumb. Let me read this, guys. I thought you guys were just being stingy. It was just me not posting it the right way. So dumb. Okay, here's the link to his channel. Okay, I pinned a link to his channel now. I'm sorry. Night's Edge, that's me just being a, a dumb, goofy goober here. Okay, now you can subscribe to Night's Edge and help him get over. I'm sitting here, like, lecturing everybody on, like, how hard it is to gain subs. <laughs> I just pinned his comment with no link. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Can we see your 1902 and the Max A Sandstorm V2? I can show you the Sandstorm. The 1902 is really packed away. There's a, I gotta move a lot of weight. I'm done working out for the day. I don't wanna move all this weight. But I'll show you the Sandstorm, sure. Sandstorm's right on top. That's a, the crazy, it's such an enormous integral. Crazy. I made the mistake of letting my first one go and it had a black blade. I don't know, I sold it. I'm pretty sure a patron owns my first one. Uh, excuse me. But yeah, wow, it's got that double lock. You can screw that down and like double lock it out. And then it's also got a pin, right? So it's, it's technically got three locks and it's an integral. This is a, this is a powerhouse of a knife. I'll tell you what. And it's also freaking nasty. I mean, look at this thing. This is ridiculous. Oh, there's the pin right there. Yeah, forget. That was a smart move by Maxis. You can screw the pin in back here. And then if you want to, you can lock it out here. And then you can screw this thing down. It ain't going nowhere. <laughs> it's not going anywhere. Things are crazy. Really cool knife. Completely unnecessary. But look how much titanium this is. God. The rock pattern went away. We don't see rock pattern knives anymore. That was popular for a bit, and now it's gone. Where is that? There it is. Oh, he's at 537? Great. I'll just leave him there. Shaky camera. So it's not actually the camera shaking. You know what it's doing? I noticed that the other day. It's the autofocus. So the eyes, the lenses actually move to focus on what I'm holding. And I don't know how to change that. And like I created, I, I built a mount for the camera. It's actually mounted to the framework so that it's not attached to the table. Cause I was like, every time I'd set a knife down, it would like shake the camera. So I attached it to a, an arm that's now attached to the framework. But now the, the focus, focus is so hard on what I'm holding. It actually moves the image around, which drives me nuts. Stupid technology, ironically working against me. See what I mean? Galaxy S24 Ultra Pro 9000. Well, I have no idea. It's the newest Galaxy. 
It's a great camera. That's why you guys have been getting 4K. It's great. 4K 60 FPS for those of you who watch my content at 4K 60 frames per second. It's an amazing camera. But it moves the the live stream can't I can't get above 720p in the live stream. The regular content goes up to 4K 60 FPS. But the stupid lenses move around. Or whatever whatever's happening. I'm not a camera guy. It's lagging for you. Well, it's a live stream. It's, it's, that's your internet, big guy. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I buy a new camera every year. I buy a new phone every year. Uh, I can write it off for the channel and I just, I want to keep the picture quality as, as good as possible. I got to keep it up. I got to keep up with the times here because this is already pretty primitive. Thank you very much, Shay, for gifting a Metal Complex membership. The Pokemon card, yeah, there's a couple cards. I I buy cards based on the artwork now. Like Pokemon cards nowadays are way more, they're so epic compared to when I was a kid. So I think this one, this is a 2023 PSA. It's it's PSA 10 graded, but it's a uh, it's an alternate art for the rare Charizard card of this group. And I love the artwork on it. It's just absolutely insane. We never had cards like this when I was a kid. I think these go for like 300 bucks on eBay. And then the other one that I really like, I have tons. In fact, I have a special case, if you didn't know. This case right here is custom. It's got custom foam from Nalpak. And every single card in this case is a PSA 10. <laughs> so I, I collect Pokemon cards, specifically PSA 10 mint graded cards. But two of my favorite for artwork, um, and I've got more than one case too, but... Two of my favorite cards for the artwork are the new, and I have all the cards in this set too, but the Giratina. This is ridiculous. It's so epic. Man. I just like him. I just figured I'd lay him out here tonight for fun. Pokemon cards are really not a whole lot different uh, than pocket knives. I play the game sometimes on mobile. I play the game with my kids. My kids love Pokemon cards too. That's what kind of reignited my um, my interest in Pokemon cards because my kids love them. And so while when they get a pack, I, I buy packs as well. I buy a lot more packs. But I like pulling cards. I, I also like getting on eBay and just buying PSA 10 cards. You can't cut anything with a Pokemon card, but listen, you're talking to a guy who has a lot of knives that don't cut anything. I got knives I use and knives I don't. It's just I enjoy I enjoy these the cards for largely the same reason I enjoy the knives. I just watched your knife collection video. I have to have a collection of that caliber one day. Thanks, man. Um, I uh, you know it. Things happen fast. Uh, that collection is. 99.999% uh, owed to the community who helped me build this channel. I mean, you guys helped me build that collection. So the best way I know to give back is to continue to create content surrounding the knives I own and to do live streams where I give away a lot of stuff. You know, that's, I want to collect, I want to continue to enjoy the hobby, but I also want to create content you guys enjoy and give you free knives sometimes. So. I'm glad that you enjoyed that video. That was a that was a crazy video. And I will I'll update the collection video once a year. I've not spine whack tested my Mewtwo. I have how many hold on. I have four different PSA 10 Mewtwo's, I think. Derek, welcome to Nights Around. Welcome back to Nights Around. Every week, yeah. Well, I feel like that's the least I could do, right? Is give away knives every week. I could probably give away a knife every day, but I don't have time to like do the live stream. So I figure if I do, you know, once a week and do the mystery pouch thing. I talked with a, another knife company and I said, man, the, you, there's, there's definitely a market for people who would like collect cards based on like past popular models. If some company was able to print collectible cards, 
with like information, like like the front of the card has the knife and it's like a cool, like somebody does an illustration or it's just a really cool picture. And the back of the card has like all the details on the history of it. People would collect those. They may not be super valuable, but it's a fun idea, you know? There's tons of people in the community who are card collectors of all types. Not a bad idea. Knife trading cards, you guys really don't think that would go down well? That would go down super well. But there'd have to be like one company doing it. You got rare cards, you got uncommons, you got commons, right? How many knives do I have in my collection? I have 264 currently. I give away the vast majority. So if I had kept everything that's ever come into the channel, it'd be over a thousand. No, it wouldn't be that much. It'd probably be like 700, maybe. I've given away hundreds of knives for sure. What are my favorite games? My favorite video game of all time is Super Mario 3, but my favorite modern game is definitely Elden Ring. Like, e easily. Elden, I feel like Elden Ring was like, I play that game and I'm like, I feel like the, the developers were inside of my head when they made this. Like, I love everything about Elden Ring. There's nothing I don't like about Elden Ring. I just, I love it. I, God, Elden Ring is so good. I was big into Fable, the original Fable. Played all the Elder Scrolls games, played World of Warcraft, Diablo, all the God of War games. Final Fantasy, I've played most of the Final Fantasy games. I'm replaying Final Fantasy VI right now, which is hyper underrated. Final Fantasy VI is wonderful. Elden Ring is the game. That is the game, man. Elden Ring is a masterpiece. In a world of absolute dog shit video games, 2024 is just like, 2023, 2024, so many crap titles released. Elden Ring is so good. Uh, Stone Sword key message always gets me killed. Oh, yeah. <laughs> What's this guy up to now for subs? 550. All right. You got, you got, <laughs> you got some subs. I'm going to put my Patreon back. Congratulations, though. I have to put it in chat first, and then I have to pin it. Sorry. Video games are for children? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> what year do you think it is, man? Video games are for children? Jeez. Come on, man. You're not going to get anywhere with that comment. <laughs> I'm absolutely a child. Let me, let me say this, man. Like, like, do you not still like macaroni and cheese with hot dogs? Like, I do. You know? I also like... Uh, I mean, I'm an adult, but I like putting a baseball on a tee and smacking it into oblivion. Like, who doesn't like that feeling? Come on, man. Staple dish. Shout out to all the parents out there who make mac and cheese and hot dogs for their kids, but you make way too much on purpose so that you can secretly eat it by yourself over the sink like a rat. <laughs> <laughs> I know you do that. I do that too. <laughs> Come on. Load it up with pepper. Make it with with 
butter with uh, whole milk and with Velveeta cheese and you put pepper all over it and garlic powder. Oh boy, that's a real treat. Hey MC, can you talk about the space between the pocket clip and the scale when you do reviews? An example of Pulsar XL deep carry clip, that clip has hardly any space, thanks. Yeah, that's a good point. Thank you very much for that donation. Actually, yeah, nothing drives me more crazy. Like, I don't like clips that are super tight, but I get really bent out of shape when a pocket clip that's funny because you literally have to bend it back into shape to correct it. When a pocket clip has a micro amount of space between itself and the the surface of the scale. That drives me nuts. Sometimes it's so close you can hear it clicking when you move the knife. God, just, it needs to be enough that it's pinchy, but not so much that it's like permanently attached to your person. You've never owned a system in your life and you're 42? Let me tell you something that's factually true. There exists a game in the wild. It might take a while for you to find it, but the only reason you don't like video games is because you've never exposed yourself to them. Video games are an enormous economy. It's incredible. So until you expose yourself to it, you'll never know. If you continue to resist it and never play it, you'll probably continue not liking them because you'll judge them on the surface level, which is the same thing that's true for anything, right? But there definitely exists a video game out there that is not only enjoyable, but will consume your life. Anybody who has ever played video games knows this, right? And you can get an enormous amount of enjoyment out of it, but you have to balance it, as is the case with all things. You gotta balance it. You gotta give yourself time. But some of the craziest and most incredible experiences that I've had have definitely come from video games. Obviously, some of the most incredible experiences I've had have come from the real world too, but there exists so much joy with video games and if you never expose yourself to it you'll never know that's a hard fact world of warcraft is great classic i haven't played the new one yet i've heard a lot of complaints about it but i haven't tried it A lot of people who are into pocket knives like uh, Assassin's Creed. How many people in here are big into Assassin's Creed? I guarantee you. Let's see the chat. Type 1 if you like Assassin's Creed. Guarantee it. Guarantee it. Yeah, there we go. Look at that. You see what I mean? Look at this. Did you guys know? Hmm? Now you know. Skyrim, if you like blades. Oh, Elder Scrolls is wonderful if you love blades and collecting blades. I used to play Skyrim like a collection game, right? So good. So good. There are knives in our... There are 100%. There are knives in our community that were... The design were, were, was definitely inspired by stuff from the Elder Scrolls series. 100%. The glass sword is so cool, man. Glass, the glass stuff, so cool. Obviously, it wouldn't work in reality, but that's that's the great thing about video games. It doesn't have to make sense. You can just do it. I watched a Skyrim mod where they replaced all the dragons with models of uh, Thomas the Tank Engine. <laughs> Funny man, <laughs> love stuff like that. Uh, <laughs> I'm just remembering how hard I was laughing at that video. Um, still some Hinder Project X's XM24s up on Hinder's website. Oh great, well they're gonna be gone now. I, hold on, should I? I want to see if I can buy something during the stream. Everybody, don't buy anything from the Hinder website. I'm gonna try and buy a Project X real quick. Don't buy. Wait for me. I want to go first. Hold on. Is there really Project X's available? Ah, oh, yeah, there are. Oh, that's so cool. Hold on. Choose an option.
Well, there's blue. God, I kind of want a blue one. Everybody wait. I'm thinking about buying this. Hold on. I wanted a red, a translucent, or a black. Nah, I'm gonna hold off. That's cool, though. Thanks for letting me know. I'm working on Baldur's Gate 3, for sure. The Momo is awesome. You should definitely buy it. JDA, you'll love it. The Momo is, is so good. For a front flipper, I think what makes it so cool is the distance between your index finger and your thumb because it's so wide and it makes it feel much better than other front flippers. It's just really good. <sighs> is the Rosie XL tonight's giveaway? It absolutely is not. <laughs> this is my newest, my newest acquisition. Just came in two days ago. Video game is a 100 billion year industry, 100%. We might, we might be in a, you know, in a video game right now. We'll never know. Imagine the, the irony of that. Our civilization is literally a, um, a, a simulation where we have evolved to the point where certain sections of our community are like super anti-video game. <laughs> might be. The Glycon is in the case. Hey, real quick, we gotta we gotta do this. We gotta do the Instagram plug. Have you ever wondered what does a guy like Metal Complex need Patreon for? Well, I'll tell you. Thanks for asking. Actually, I'll tell you. Um, so on Patreon, you can of course support the channel. On Patreon, that's where I do number one private monthly giveaways. I just gave away a Reich 1902, actually, 250 dollar knife. I also do private knife sales. I currently have a knife sale campaign going where once a week I'm selling five knives. All of those knives are heavily discounted, usually almost 50% off. And these are stuff, these are knives that I absolutely get for free from retailers and companies like that. It's just the extra stuff that I don't keep. I can turn those funds back into content by purchasing additional knives and creating content out of them or other things that I use for the channel. That's, that's what I do with the money. If you're wondering, what do I do with the money from Patreon? I buy knives. That's the only answer to that. Doing anything else with that money would be an absolute slap in the face of the people who support me on Patreon. So that's what I do there. I also do once a week exclusive content. You also gain access to private Patreon chat. You also gain access to my private Discord server. And you can have all of that for a dollar a month. I have a bunch of different tiers there. You can pay me whatever you feel like. But if you just want access to everything and you want it to be as cheap as possible, it's literally $1 a month. I've pinned my Patreon right at the top of the chat. So if you'd like to join and uh, be a part of that, you absolutely can. Of course, that is optional. If you don't want to do that, you can continue to enjoy my YouTube channel for free uh, and join um, you know, these, uh, these giveaways that I do on live streams for free as well. But there is a, a hefty community over there and I'm very active on Patreon. So... Thank you very much to my Patreon supporters. A Leatherman multi-tool would be sweet. Okay. Maybe I'll buy one for the um, for the 500k giveaway. We're we're currently at 452,000 subscribers, so Another 50,000 at the current rate will actually come pretty quickly. I, I'm updated you guys last week, the last month the channel gained 32,000 subscribers. I think that's the most subs I've ever received in one month. So it might not be that far away. Thank you very much to all of the people who recently subscribed. That's super cool. I'm sure you found me on YouTube Shorts. But thank you very much. You have to walk your dog going to the giveaway yet? All right, we'll, we'll, wait, we'll wait for this guy. Feels good, man. We gotta wait. We gotta wait. He's gotta walk his dog. We'll do the giveaway here in just a bit. I know, 300k seems super recent. So does 400k. Like, I mean, obviously. But, it yeah, it seems like very recent. I gave away a Leather Monarch 
Did I do that here or did I do that on Patreon? I can't remember. I gave away my Leatherman arc either here on YouTube or on Patreon. I can't remember. I have a, I have just as many CIB. What does CIB mean? NES games I do knives. So that's cool, man. Like, I just think collecting in general is, is fun, right? When you get really specific and you get really into, like, a certain tier, finding and collecting rare things, especially when you can watch the value go up over time. It doesn't really matter what it is. I mean, there's there's no shortage of people who are just going to stand at the rim of things and go, I can't believe anybody would spend that type of money. Nobody cares. The opinion doesn't change anything about that market. You're just an idiot standing outside of a fence going, that's something I don't understand. Ah! Uh, well, who cares? <laughs> it's going to continue to exist either way. So if you find something that you're interested in, and you enjoy collecting it, you enjoy having it. At the same time, you can watch the value of that stuff go up over time. That's great. That's a win-win, right? Knives are no different. You can use the knives. You can not use the knives. You can do whatever you want. You spent your money on it, right? I personally, you know, I like, here's a good example. I can't understand why somebody would want to buy one of those old Volkswagen buses right but i also know that those are very valuable so people who own them and they stay in really good condition they're, they're really valuable so my opinion on that doesn't mean anything right it means absolutely nothing i'm not the main character over there in that community right I'm not the main character in this community but i'm just saying my my input is not valid there because i don't have the information i don't have the context right I don't understand it because I'm not a part of that community. If I was a part of that community, I'd, I, I would venture to guess I'd understand it a bit more. They're not worth anything? Oh, I beg to differ. I've seen the, the, the auction networks, right? You can say whatever you want, but when you see one go for a ton of money on those auction networks, and you, you know, there you go. It is what it is. If somebody, if one person on earth is willing to spend an enormous amount of money on it, then that's what it's worth. The audio is choppy. Refresh my live stream and tell me if the audio is choppy. Most knives don't go up in value. Well, that's true. Most of anything in any collector, you know, community, most of that stuff doesn't. It's only certain things. That's what makes it interesting. S small percentages of things go up in value pocket knives the the vast majority of pocket knives do not go up in value but there are a few that do and that's what makes it so interesting that's a huge driving point Bob's channel is talking about stuff that's like really special right you can enjoy the hot you can enjoy the common stuff there's nothing wrong with that but some people really specifically want to enjoy the rare stuff Choppy, choppy. Well, I, I don't think I can refresh the stream at this point. Yeah, I can't do anything about it at this point. Because it doesn't give me like a refresh option. Sorry, I'm just looking at all my options here. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Well, I can put a filter on here? Oh no, it's just for the... Uh... Sorry, I'm, 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 I'm sorry the audio is bad. It's not choppy for you. Okay, well, if it's not choppy for some people, then maybe some people just need to refresh it or check your playback speed. Disconnect your... Unplug your router, all that stuff. Maybe I just had to poke my phone. Seven twenty nine. Flip your breaker. There you go. Best game ever. Super Mario Three. I agree. I think that's probably. I mean, a lot of nostalgia there, but Super Mario Three. I think is probably. It's probably the most perfect game ever. It's because I went to the hinderer site. <laughs> Who picked this up? been carrying this oh my god don't get listen if you if you're like if you're one of those people that got super mad about this don't you have to understand the implication here kaiser can do this they can do this 
that means we're going to start seeing this. And I confirmed it with him. I said, is this like a one-time thing? Or are you guys going to keep doing that? So oh, we're going to keep doing it. Kaiser's going to do that. My prediction is shiny DLC will be a much more common thing over the next two years. Much more common. That recipe is making the rounds. Read the donation request. All right, hold on. Sorry, I missed it. My bad. It's gone. Oh, no. Yeah, I don't, I don't see. Sorry, I can't scroll up anymore. I'm sorry. I can't, Aaron. I can't go up anymore. <laughs> I see your I see your four comments. I can't go up anymore. It kills the old... What does this one say? Thanks. You got me collecting watches now please follow me thank edc knife addiction all right thanks man i mean that's the most recent one that i'm able to read oops there we go i shut the chat off there we go you have animated watch the draws fairly soon it's 7 30 give me like oh here you know what let me let me go on a bathroom break i'll be right back let me go to the bathroom and then we can do the draw all right I've ever wondered, I have a huge uh, package of white gloves. <laughs> Just get a brand new one here. Let me get that dagger out. Because I, I saw a few people asking about it. I'll show it real quick. Um, and it's not because it's delicate. It's because I. it's so polished. It's so clean. I just want to keep my hands off of it. So this is the custom dagger that was made for me by Dion Nell. Beautiful, 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 beautiful. Wonderful, absolute perfection. Uh, normally it has a palm swell, like a bigger palm swell in it, but I requested he just give me a straight handle because I like how it looks. And he did that. And then the uh, sheath was Felicity McNamara. Two different people worked on this. Um, and it, it also, it has a brother. I'm not sure who picked up the brother, but I know that that was... That existed. He did two daggers like this. So I've, I have no idea who owns the brother. What's that run? I think it's I think it's like set 16 to 1800. It depends. I mean, like the only reason I'm saying I don't know is because it depends on all of the different little aspects that you request. He's a true custom knife maker. So it will be built custom for you. You have to ask him. Now, if, if you ask him and he says it's 2400, then... It just, it depends, right? I mean, it depends on what he's able to do, what projects he's able to take on. His costs, his costs probably go up and down. I have no idea. So that's roughly the ballpark. All right. Start moving this stuff. I'm going to put the Pokemon cards away. I don't, I know that like light is not super great for cards over time and I plan on keeping these cards for, you know, ultimately my kids will end up inheriting the cards and truthfully the knives. So 
Um, but I'd like to keep those in the dark and in that case as often or as much as I can. I do the same thing with the knives, you know, keep the salt packs in there and keep them in foam, all that. People get on me for storing my autos, um, you know, closed and under tension. And I know that's probably bad. So if in 20 years you find all my stuff up for auction, like I got hit by a meteor and my family's auctioning off all my stuff that they don't want. Uh, you can be like, ah, don't buy those autos. He always stored those with under tension. <laughs> and the, by the way, the fixed blade, I know I, I shouldn't keep in the case. I actually have ordered a mount for both the sheath and the dagger. So those will no longer be stored together like that. So if you have not um, entered yet, you need to do this. If you're just now joining, I'm about to draw, but you need to do this first. You can't just be in chat. You actually have to follow these instructions. So there's a link in the description. Just open the description of the live stream up. Click on the link that says enter here and leave your comment. That's all you got to do. I'll give you guys a couple minutes to do that. Look at this big old fat boy. Holy crap. Midgard's Mezzer. Suddenly able to do a near mirror polish on a giant blade. This is such a ridiculous object. The boss prototype. God. <laughs> it's stupid smooth, too. There, man, Midgard's Messer is going to release some absolutely crazy stuff in the future. Is this Kirby? Pretty sure it is. Nostalgia is pretty is hitting pretty hard with Kirby right now. All right, I charged the iPad, so don't worry. Hold on. Here are the eight. Give me a sec here. God, this went so fast. The only thing that sucks about live streams is even though I've extended them, I used to only go for an hour. I go for an hour and a half now. Even though I've extended the time, I say this every time, they just go so fast. All right, here we go. Comment picker website. We're going to refresh. Everybody can see it's a fresh page. There we go. Come down here. We're going to paste that link. Let you guys look at that link so you know I'm not trying to pull a fast one on you. That's the exact link that you entered. Filter duplicate users is on. Get YouTube comments. Just let that sit there for a sec. Fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, one thousand five hundred and seventy entries. There's your odds with one thousand three hundred and forty-nine people live in chat right now. So, hold on a second. We got We'll draw the winner and then I'll turn the, I'll turn the iPad or I'll turn the uh, uh, pouches here. So the winner tonight, amongst all those folks, is. Or one of the winners. This is the first winner. Fuzzy Mutt 76 MC, you demand. He's got a picture of a uh, a dog there. Let's chat, slow down. Let's let this guy make himself known. Fuzzy Mutt 76, that's who we're looking for in chat. Help me find him. Help me. There he is. Hey, and he's a knight. Hey, awesome. Fuzzy Mud. There he is. Unmistakable. All right. Fuzzy Mud, you got eight here. The uh, the most expensive stuff is still in here. So you got to give me two numbers. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Give me two numbers and I'll pull two pouches for you. I'm 
waiting for him. I'm waiting for him. I'm not not seeing his request yet. He's thinking. Three and six. One, two, three. One, two, three, four, five, six. We got two pouches. What do we got here? What do we got here? First one. Oh, yeah. Uh, what is this? The QSP. This one, the budget knife. Sorry, a little bit of oil there. Nice little 14C28N budget knife. I cannot remember the name of this, though. And I'm sure that chat will inform everybody. Uh, but there's your first win. Your second win. This is a little more dense. Oh, he got it. <laughs> the uh, this is uh, this is pretty cool. So this is a, an American mid tech, the Les George uh, ESV in S forty five VN, and we have the bronze Cerakote. That is a four hundred. It's either four twenty five or four fifty. American made Les George. There we go. Congratulations, he got it. Now I'm gonna have to spice up the winnings for the final round. Finally, I can't believe that knife lasted so long. Very, very cool. Now it's actually not brass, it's titanium. It's got a bronze uh, coating on it. Very cool, very snappy, awesome knife for sure. That was provided by USA Made Blade. Wanna make that very clear. USA Made Blade was kind enough to provide this. Make sure you guys check out USA Made Blade. They obviously sell USA made blades there. And I think there's a few of these left. So if you want one of these and you missed out on it, go check them out. If not, there's a bunch of other stuff there. Very cool. Scott Whittington is an excellent human being. So I'm sure you're like, okay, that's all great. Uh, tell me how to contact you. So all you have to do is email me at metalcomplex87 at gmail.com with your full name, your full shipping details, and the exact knives that you want. It's very important. Full name shipping information and the exact two knives that you want don't be alarmed if i don't message you back all the way up until friday of next week don't be alarmed don't think i'm ghosting you i'm not ghosting you but i do everything on fridays so you'll get a response from me and your tracking information next friday you'll also receive the boxes and the original pouching whatever whatever they came with right but for now these will go back in now don't worry because there's still premium stuff in here I loaded these pouches up with some really good stuff. So, what's in that one? Just like an empty case here. Oh man, I've got the hiccups. Okay, we got six left. Let's uh, pick a new winner. Final winner tonight, here we go. Thud, thud King nine. Good luck, everyone. Hope I win. He has a picture of a Dratini. I know that Pokemon. That's Dratini. That's who. That's what we're looking for right now. Thud, fucking nine. We're looking for Dratini. Dratini. Where are we at? Where are we at? Where are we at? There he is. There he is. I see him. Unmistakable. His name, his picture, everything right there. Thuddicking nine. One, two, three, four, five, six. I need two numbers from you. Every winner ever, like in their mind, oh, holy crap, this is real. <laughs> <laughs> Holy crap, it's real. <laughs> He's not screwing around. <laughs> I just, I know that that's the realization in their head. Three and four. One, two, three, and four. Right beside it. Both equally dense. This one a little more dense. What do we have here? Ah, yeah, that's actually one of the cooler. The Kaiser Justice with the red micarta. One of the larger, and the action on this is beautiful, by the way. Beautiful action. Kaiser Justice in uh, N690 and Red Micarta. Definitely a full-size knife. Nice EDC. Very good flipper. And you also have thumb studs that can be easily flicked out with the reverse flick or the thumb flick, whatever you'd like. Very, very cool knife for sure. So that's your first win. And your second win. 
Oh, yeah, the Q. This is the other QSP, and I, I don't know the name of this one either, but it's also 14C28N with a beautiful stonewashed finish. Those are, the, I think, those are the last two budget knives of the bunch. We have specific ergonomic positions, right? They have the carved out handle positions, but contoured micarta, steel liner, and a nice pocket, a little bit of a bill there, you know, that not my, my biggest most favorite thing there but you can easily reverse flick this uh use the flipper tab whatever you'd like also a full-size knife so there you go christmas themed knives uh you need to email me at metal complex 87 at gm uh at metal complex 87 at gmail.com not gm.com gmail.com with your full shipping information your first and last name in the exact two knives that you want it's very useful for me when i'm sorting through because people always try to scam, right? And so getting all the details correct, being able to go back and check, right? There's always idiots who think that they can get these knives from me for free. You can't. I mean, like, I mean, sure. If, I guess if you want to try, that's fine. I got a really simple way of figuring out who's who. So don't waste my time or your time. But if you actually won, then yeah, send me this information. Congrats. There's four left. Uh, so what I'm going to do for the last... Uh, live stream for this group and there'll be a new group right afterwards but whatever's in here if there's anything that's uninteresting i will replace it with stuff that is very interesting to make sure that there's something spicy in there okay all right what do we got left 46 we got 15 minutes of uh of uh, whatever hangout time so if you guys like to hang out after the uh, live stream's over feel free to hang out with me i'm gonna hang out with you guys for about 15 minutes here Talk about knives or whatever you guys want to talk about. Anything you want. This is a really great knife. I really got to point this out. The EK folder, the integral. Big fan of this one. Les George and Alan Ishowitz. Very cool. They claim DLC coating on this too. Really fun. Just really enjoying that knife. Sorry, I had to make a little comment there. Remember, Patreon is linked at the top if you guys want to get in on private knife giveaways, private knife sales, private Patreon uh, chat, including buy, sell, trade, private Discord access, and once a week exclusive content from yours truly. You can join for as little as $1 a month by clicking on the link right at the top of the chat. I would greatly appreciate it. I will use your money to buy knives and then create content out of those knives. Uh, that's, uh, that, that's what goes on on Patreon. Thank you very much to all my Patreon supporters. You definitely helped build this channel. I'm also very active on Patreon. If you, if you do want to reach out to me, that is the easiest way to get a hold of me. Um, I have a lot of people trying to message me, but it, I mean, the, the fastest way is definitely through Patreon. Get a good time. I'm glad. Uh, I'm curious. Type one if this is your first live stream with me. Wow, Jeremiah, ten memberships. Thank you very much. That was very kind. Uh, type one if this was your first live stream with me. I'm just curious. One, one, one. Really? Wow, that's awesome. Did you guys have fun? I try to make. I try to. I try to have a good time here. I try to make it make it fun and interesting and be kind of wacky and crazy. I mean, at this point, it's just like I've been doing this for a while, but. Um, good. Yeah. I mean, I, like, I feel like this is kind of what people expect now from live stream. So I'm just going to keep doing it this way. I love doing the mystery pouch thing. That's really fun for me. And I have so many knives to give away. So this number one, it helps me give stuff away quickly at a certain pace, but it also makes it really fun and interactive for people. So good. I'm glad you guys are having fun. That's the goal. I mean, I want to have fun, but it's if I'm having fun and nobody else is having fun, then that would suck. So <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm glad that people are enjoying this format. We've been doing this same format for so long. You guys remember the old format was literally just me laying out knives and talking. There was nothing happening. And that's fine. Like some people like that. That's what we're doing right now. This, what we're doing right now was like the whole live stream. And that's fine. But like, come on. People want to win knives, right? You guys want to win knives. Who 
Who is... Ryan Kibb has a hundred and it's creative. Ryan Kibb, you have 113 subs, but you just put a check mark in your name. <laughs> I was like, who's check marked? Who's like YouTube authenticated? He just put that in his name. That's clever though, you got me to click on it. <laughs> I was like, who's who's got this check mark here? See, I got a check mark. Here, I'll show you mine. See, I got a check mark. Cause I'm just, I'm so cool. <laughs> YouTube gave me a check mark. Apparently you can get around this by just creating a name and putting a check mark in. <laughs> so, it's so funny, like, your YouTube recognizes you. They're like, oh yes, you are a person that exists. Here's a check mark for you, if you have enough followers. If you're loud enough and annoying enough, to gain the following of people, here's a check mark. I appreciate my real, I know that like the vast majority of the people who subscribe to me are just, you know, it's kind of like a knee jerk reaction, right? But the people who come to my live streams and hang out with me on a regular basis, watch my content and comment regularly, I know you guys, I see you guys all the time. I try to respond to you sometimes. Uh, so I appreciate that. I appreciate the people who are really here and who have been here for a very long time. That's very important to me. So thank you very much. Was there an Excalibur update? Thanks for your donation. Um, no, we are working on phase three. Prototype three will be basically 99% completion. Once I have the 3D model of prototype three in my hands, I think they're actually going to make it. So I have like a, a physical version of prototype one and two, and then I have a 2.5 that's a 3D model, uh, like just in plastic. And I think prototype three, I think the plan is to send me like a fully completed model. And then from there, it's just shaving down corners and making little, little tiny things. But I've yet to see a prototype with the locking system I want, which is now plan C. Plan A didn't work. Plan B might be possible in the future. Plan C is what we're with right now, which is still very good. And it's still very rare in the knife world. So, um, but we're, we're just about there. And the person I'm working with has a lot of other projects. And like I said, I have an infinite amount of time and I'm not gonna release it unless it's perfect. And I don't wanna rush him either. So however much time he needs is perfectly fine with me. And realistically, if it takes another year, I'm for it. If it takes a year to make it right, then we wait another year. You know, I don't want to. I don't want to rush it. And I know you guys will appreciate a a you know a fully realized final product. So that's what we're going for. It's not a liner lock. It's also not a revolutionary locking system. It's just not common to see the. The combination of elements that we're bringing, you, you, you don't see it very often, if hardly ever. We're just, it's gotta all be, gotta all be there. Nobody has an infinite amount of time. I know, I know, but I mean like, I gotta, I, I gotta let this thing come to fruition the way that it's supposed to. The other thing is, is that the, I think this is a blessing. The fact that I'm not financially motivated by this project means that it can t it, 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 it the final product will be very good. I feel like financial motivation would mean that it would be rushed. I think that's the problem with the video game industry right now. Everything is there's so much financial financial motivation behind things that everything gets rushed. I have no financial motivation with this project. The goal is not to make money. I will make money. I just want to make, make that clear. Like I, I'm obviously going to benefit financially from this, but that's not the motivation. The motivation is to bring my dream knife to the community. So however long it takes, that's how long it takes, right? The partner I'm working with has some financial motivation, but he's on the same page as me. He wants it to be what I want it to be. And that's why I'm working with him because 
He's not pushy or he's not like, hey, we got to get this done. Like, tell me what I got to get it on the market. He's not doing that, which is why I'm working with him. So this is this is the best for everybody. The stump lifter looks pretty good. It is very good. It's it's exceptional. Advanced Knife Row did a great job with that. You should pick it up if you've been considering it. The locking system itself is common. The locking system in combination with an integral is not common. I want to make that clear. Don't expect a new locking system. It's it's a locking system you guys have seen, but it's also Plan C. Uh, I'll tell you guys, you know what? I'll just go ahead and tell you what, what we found out we can't do. I wanted to create, I wanted to, to do an integral with um, the, what Benchmade did with the Anthem. I wanted an, a, a crossbar lock with a coil spring. That's what I wanted. But there's a patent on that. We can't use it. So plan B was to, because the patent ended on the compression lock for Spyderco, I wanted to do a compression lock. And it's that might be possible, but that requires an enormous amount of testing. Because that to, to have that implemented and have it work correctly, I mean, we could throw it in there and just make it work, but I feel like there'd be a ton of lock failures because like it's it would take time to properly test it. I don't wanna do that. So I went with something that I knew that this company could do, and it's a more common locking system, but it's less common on an integral frame. That's plan C. I also obviously want to cater to both left and right-handed people. So we're, we're trying to get this worked out. Plan D is just a regular frame lock, which I know people will be okay with, right? But I'm, I'm trying to get everything worked out and we're, I wanna make it work for the people who are making it and not cause stress on them, so. It's not a button lock. Tell you that right now. It's not a button lock. The axis lock with the Omega Springs expired, but not the axis lock with a coil spring. We cannot do that. We looked into it and we cannot do it. <laughs> it does lock. It's not a friction folder. It does lock, I promise. Snacks? I'm not working with snacks. No, it's not a super lock. It, I mean, like, I feel like I've hyped this up to the point where there's going to be an enormous amount of people, like, when they see it, they'll be like, oh, but he made it seem like it was going to be this revolutionary thing. And I have to keep saying this. I'm not doing anything revolutionary. Nothing about what I'm doing is like brand new for the market. It's just a combination of elements that I want to see in a knife because I have certain things that I love about pocket knives and I want to see them all combined into one thing. And I had to make, you know, I couldn't get exactly what I wanted and I expected that. So I'm, you know, we're adjusting. I mean... Do I, do I think that Benchmade would take on a design from me? I don't know. It would take a long time, but also it would be super expensive because it would be American made and it would also be very limited and that would just piss everybody off. I don't want to do that. I want to make a knife that people can get if they want to get it. And I also want to make a less expensive version of it for people who don't want to spend the, I mean, the knife I'm making is going to be 400 bucks, like in its true form but we're also trying to make less expensive versions of it that don't have all of the elements, but are the same idea. And that way people can get their hands on the, the idea without paying for all of the extra premium stuff. I, I, I want people to get their hands on it. That's the goal. I want people to have it, you know? I don't want to exclude people um, that don't have the budget for my ultimate dream, right? I mean, that's just sucks. It's like, cool, you made a knife, but it's freaking expensive and I can't pay that much money. 
I, I recognize that. So I want to make, I want to ideally have less expensive versions. I don't know that they'll all come out at the same time, but that's my goal. How about a $150 one? That's what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to make multiple tiers. One that's like between one and 150, one that's like two to 250, and one that's like 400. And then we'll make some really special ones for people who want to pay for like crazy premium stuff. We'll make a seven, eight hundred, nine hundred dollar version. That that's the goal is to make a bunch of different versions. But that's a goal. It's not a promise. We have to wait and see what we can do. We have to figure the design out first, and then we have to figure out how to make different tiers of it. And that's why I don't want to. I don't want people to think that this is like a month away. It could be. I would say it's anywhere from six months to a year away. The Snacks Lock is open for use? Are you serious? Are you sure, Wes? I mean, yeah, I'll talk with Snacks about that if that's really true, but I figured that there was a patent on that. We haven't completely decided on a locking mechanism because we don't know if it's really going to work. We're very far into the po project in certain elements and we're way behind in others. Like we have a lot to work out. And and we also want to do a, a like a pre-order so that everybody who wants it can get it. So we there's a lot of stuff to work out. But I am we're on the cusp of a bigger update. Like probably the biggest update yet. It's 801 guys. It's time. It's it's movie time with the kiddos and the fam. It's time. Oh, here. Sorry, let me give some memberships away. Hold on, here they come. I got 20 memberships for me incoming. One moment. There we go. Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for hanging out with me tonight. This has been really fun. I'll do it again next week. Um, this is uh, this is pretty heavy sports season. I'll try to continue to do things on Fridays. Sometimes it'll be Saturday. Sometimes it might be Sunday. And rarely there won't be a live stream on the weekend. But I will continue to, to do this. The final four are in here, so next week we'll finish these up. And we'll get a new round of 20 for the next time. Um, but... Uh, for the foreseeable future, you're stuck with me. So I'll be here. Um, but that's going to be it for tonight. So thank you very, very much for hanging out and having fun with me tonight. Thanks to my Patreon supporters. Thanks to all my subscribers. Thanks to people who watch my channel but don't subscribe. That's fine, too. I hope you all have an excellent rest of your Friday evening and an excellent rest of your weekend. Bye.